Hey guys, what is going on? Mike Man 123 here, back with another video, and today so I'll be reviewing the Lego Marvel Superheroes Mighty Micros Captain America vs Red Skull set 76065. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first minifig is Captain America, and I really like this sort of cartoonish face he does have, but the smile does look a little creepy. With that green, his torso has this really nice star printing with the stripe of white and red, and then a really nice belt print. And then I do like how he does have white sleeves. His shield is in that really nice color, and his pants don't have any printing, but I do like the short legs in blue. And then some back printing is just the pattern again with some more belt printing. The next minifig is Red Skull, and I really like his cartoonish face as well, with that sort of evil grin. His two eyebrows down, and then his two eyes. And then I also like the line detailing on there as well. His torso print is quite an interesting design as well. He does have a very similar belt design to Captain America, and that is quite hard to see, but there is some line detailing on the torso as well. And his accessory is the Tesseract, a 1x1 one one brick translucent, which is really nice. He also does have the short legs in black and if we do flip it around there's this really nice print of the Hydra logo but I like they did this sort of cartoonish look to it as well like they did with the mythic head so I really do like that and the belt does continue. So the builds for this set are Captain America's and Red Skull's sort of vehicles so first we'll start with captain america's i really like the tank idea with this piece to replicate a tank but it kind of doesn't represent captain america in my opinion i kind of wish they maybe made some sort of motorbike because in my opinion that does represent captain america but i do like the piece for the tank and then the sticker of like this sort of feather on either side is really cool and the design of it is very interesting i like how small and compact everything is. We've got some speaker pieces for some detailing. We've got a headlight here. We've got two small tires. And I also like this blue piece here. And then this sort of joy stick to move the vehicle around. And then the sort of tank piece is just connected by a few different bricks. I kind of wish it may be rotated. But I can probably understand why they did it. Because it would be very hard to do it in such a little build. Next we have Red Skull's vehicle and I really like the design of this. It reminds me of the Captain America set we did get a while back for the Lego Marvel superheroes. I also like how they have the sticker of the sort of a cartoonish Hydra logo. And then the dark green colour is a very nice colour on this vehicle. And Captain Mar Red Skull, I mean, does sit in there. I also like these sort of missile pieces they have built and they can easily easily come attached by grabbing it from there and I like how they use this goblet piece to create them and then I like this sort of build here and it does move up and down and then at the back it has this play feature where you just turn this so I don't have the box or the instructions with me but I do remember you do get two instructions manuals you get one for Captain America's vehicle and the minifig and then Red Skull's vehicle and the minifig for him, and they're also really small, they're probably the smallest manual I've ever seen, it's like this big by like that wide, and it's pretty pointless because there's not very many steps on it, it's also like a polybag designed manual because it has steps on one side, then you flip it over and you follow the other steps, so they are very easily to get lost, and the box was a, a cool design as well, I did like the colours and design of that, but the price for this set is a really bad price. I think I picked this up, it was quite a while ago, maybe for like $17. And for $17 for the build and the minifigs you do get is a little overpriced. I'd probably say this set would be like rated $10 because the minifigs are really cool with that sort of cartoonish feel to them. And the vehicles are cute and have a really nice design. So I'd probably rate this set at a $10 rating. So if you guys did enjoy this quick review on the Mighty Micros Captain America vs. Red Skull. Now I only have one Mighty Micros in my collection because I didn't really get into the sort of sub theme very well. Because I really wasn't interested in too much. The only reason I did pick up this one was because I'm a big fan of Captain America. 
but I really don't collect too many Marvel sets. I'm trying to get into the habit of doing that. I'm possibly thinking of maybe getting some of the new Marvel sets coming out this year, or even some other sets from previous years of Marvel, but I'm not too sure yet. So, as always, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I can't see you soon. Goodbye!